Cool, cool. Yeah, so uh, we are on live stream right now, and we can start from here. So hi, guys. This is, this is Chris from DrawHacks. Uh, I'm going to be the host for today's uh, demo session. Um, it's my honor to have you guys today. Uh, yeah, so a little bit of background for this session. Uh, this is uh, another BNB Revelation Hackathon project demo sessions. Um, so BNB Revelation is a 45-day hackathon, uh, grand hackathon on the right hacks. Uh, it is also actually the first time that first hackathon after BNB team rebranding. So they have injected injected a lot of re resources from um, from from them. Uh, like uh, they invited lots of uh, mature projects founders, some big institutions, VCs. Uh, to to this hackathon as judges and sponsors so yeah definitely see that as a ch chance uh they also provide a very uh juicy amount of the uh prize pool and also the uh seed funding opportunities so it's gonna be great for you guys you know to gain gain more gain more exposure in front of both of the bnb chain ecosystems and also Thor hacks because uh communities yeah uh, so without further ado, let's uh, we we're gonna have four uh, teams with us uh, for today's demo sessions, and uh, they are uh, Yao, uh, Open Lucky, Space ID, and Merged Phi. Uh, and the first team to presenting today is gonna be Yao. Yeah. So Roger, um, feel free to start when you're ready. Hi. Hi, Roger. Hi, Chris. Uh, should I uh, start? Yeah. Yeah. Feel free to start. Okay. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Roger Lu. Um, I'm currently a PhD candidate in University of Waterloo and Prime Prime Institute. Um, so today I will introduce uh, the Yao ecosystem, which is the open source uh, software uh, ecosystem that we have been developing since 2018 um, that aims to help the research um, in the field of quantum computing and quantum information. Uh, it's uh, so so. What is uh, quantum computing? Uh, so quantum computing has been an emerging field, uh, and it has been made a lot of progress in recent years uh, that uh, has potential applications in chemistry, combinatorial uh, optimization, cryptography, and machine learning. Uh, and uh, most of the algorithms are can be represented as a quantum circuit. Um, so to set these, uh, these algorithms, we need to think about, um, uh, for example, how to simulate a quantum circuit and how to design uh, the quantum circuit, um, especially um, uh, if we can manipulate circuits or differentiate the circuit. So we developed uh, this software framework called Yao uh, back in uh, 2018 that aims to uh, facilitate uh, uh, this type of research. So in this review paper uh, in 2019, I actually list uh, uh, three uh, framework that supports this type of applications, that, uh, which is called virtual quantum algorithms. Um, so uh, to give you some background, uh, what is a virtual quantum algorithm? Uh, it is uh, about uh, uh, hybrid uh, quantum device and uh, classical resources. Uh, for example, we have a parameterized quantum circuit, and we can send the parameter back to the classic computer. And the classic computer will do the uh, classical optimization on the parameters so that uh, eventually we optimize the uh, output of your quantum circuits towards your uh, to optimize your loss function. Um, so we're one of the three frameworks that supports this uh, functionality uh, with uh, automatic differentiation. Um, and uh, we're, we're also the only uh, open source uh, project that is fully funded by academia. Um, and uh, our framework is built on the, uh, the a modern language called the Joomla programming language. It is a fast, generic, and differentiable programming language. Uh, by fast, it means uh, uh, we can achieve um, uh, performance on par with uh, pure C programs. Um, and uh, uh, the, also the programs are generic. Our simulators and the whole framework is generic, which means we can, you can insert different kind of algebras of the uh, primitive uh, um, types. For example, uh, the dual number type can give you automatic uh, can directly give you 
uh, forward mode differentiation. Uh, the symbolic number can give you a sim uh, symbolic calculation uh, on the quantum circuit. Uh, plus, we also we can, uh, this allows us to support um, GPU programming high-level language very easily. And the other, uh, and the other very in interesting and very useful feature is of differentiable programming, uh, which has been applied in many scientific research area. Um, and there are two main uh, AD engines uh, in Julia, which is uh, Einzam and Zygote. So Julia was originally invented by uh, these four people uh, in MIT Julia Lab. Um, so if you want to know more about uh, the Jula programming language, here's the paper uh, of the original uh, project. So uh, Yao is built, on, uh, built using the Jula programming language. It has all the uh, feature that Julia provides. Uh, and uh, the Yao um, framework is built around the intermediate room station we call quantum block intermediate room station. Um, so this intermediate, in the surrounding this intermediate orientation, you can for example, do, for example, extracting the matrix operation from a quantum circuit or uh, run, uh, executing your quantum circuits on GPU or a real quantum device or on your CPU simulator. So the, on the right hand, we uh, have a, a very um, detailed benchmark about the performance of um, simulating quantum circuits um, using a exact uh, using full amplitude methods, among uh, comparing with other frameworks, so we can see we are uh, we're one of the frameworks that have the top performance, comparing to all other frameworks. Um, so the team has been growing from uh, four people initially, and uh, with a few other people joining later. Uh, and now we have some core developers inside this ecosystem fr uh, from different institutes. So we kind of grow our ecosystem uh, in, uh, a, bit, uh, a bit more in the past two years. Uh, so for example, the, uh, we, we implement a quantum algorithm zoo package that it, uh, has a currently implementation of all quantum uh, with a lot of quantum algorithms using the yaw.gl. Uh, this includes uh, algorithms like uh, a well-known algorithm like quantum uh, version of quantum Eigen solver, QoA, and short algorithm, uh, Grover search, and many more. Um, and we also developed uh, a new compiler that uh, aims to unleash Julia on quantum devices. So, uh, in order to run the quantum program on these new quantum devices, uh, we need to do some compilation. So we uh, we have done the first pipeline that compiles OpenCASM um, two to Julia native Julia and then compile them to the Yaw IR which is SSA based and then compile them to the uh, IBM Q or OpenCASM two um, or back to the OpenCASM two. Um, so we also implemented uh, uh, optim uh, compiler optimization. Um, uh, inside this compiler, which includes the X based uh, uh, simplification and the uh, uh, single assignment based uh, simplification. Uh, so, this is one of the simplification projects that is called ZS Calculus. Um, so, ZS Calculus is a graphical language for quantum circuits. Um, it makes certain kind of uh, algebra sets, such as Clifford algebra, very simple to evaluate uh, under this di uh, diagrammatic representation. Um, so uh, we implemented the algorithm uh, in this paper um, using pure Julia that, uh, uh, that allows us to achieve uh, uh, a large speed up compared to the original Python implementation. So for some cases, we have the 60 times speed up. Uh, we are 60 times faster than the original Python-based uh, uh, rewriter. Uh, so this allows it to use uh, 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 with plugin to the YAL compiler. This allows us to use the ZS calculus to do uh, circuit simplification. Uh, the other interesting project we um, have been working with uh, inside the YAL ecosystem is the QON, uh, which is another topological language for quantum information. Uh, this representation uses uh, uh, string null diagrams to represent quantum operators. Uh, this will make uh, 
uh, both Clifford algebra and mesh gates uh, very easy to understand. Um, however, um, from uh, for theorists, this uh, diagrammatic uh, representation is beautiful mathematically, but they're very hard to uh, reason about manually because uh, it can be quickly intractable when you have a lot of string nodes. So our contribution is to implement uh, uh, our automatic uh, engine that uh, uh, help uh, help user to contract and uh, visualize uh, such that um, such string node diagram. Um, and the other package is the yaw to einstein package that converts the quantum circuits to tensor network based simulation. Uh, so this is implements the same algorithm uh, has been uh, simulating the Google Sacramo uh, circuit, which was the claim of quantum advantage. Um, and the other work, uh, still working progress project is the basic quantum circuit emulation subroutine um, that aims to automatically compile optimal loops for um, this quantum circuit or tensor contraction uh, intrinsics. Uh, so some of the intrinsics uh, got uh, uh, even hundreds of times speed up comparing to the our current stable simulator. Um, so besides these quantum circuit simulations, we also had a pr um, collaboration with Harvard and QR computing uh, in the past two years uh, with uh, with the rebreak system and maximum dependent set problem. Uh, so what is the maximum dependent set problem? Uh, this is a very important combinatorial optimization problem uh, that appears in many different fields. So uh, an independent set is uh, by definition are vertices uh, as a subset of a graph that and all the vertices are not connected. So, for example, on the left hand is um, independent. Uh, the blue nodes are, in, are one independent set. The so maximum independent set is about finding the max uh, the uh, maximum uh, independent size on a graph. And this problem naturally is embedded on a Ripper Hamiltonian. Uh, so we can uh, we can solve this problem by finding the ground state of the Ripper Hamiltonian. Um, and to facilitate the research around the Ripper system, we build uh, we uh, we build this Ripper software development kit in collaboration with uh, QR and Harvard. Um, that aims to simulate the dynamics of uh, the Ripper system. Uh, it supports ODE solvers, Quillov solvers, and always uh, also with CUDA acceleration. Uh, plus, it's also built on top of EO actually. Uh, the, uh, it's built around the river Hamiltonian symbolic expression, which is the same uh, intermediate representation we use in Yaw. Uh, so here is a glance of what it looks like. Uh, so it has a high performance and accurate emulation for river system, uh, and also support. Uh, it currently uh, has experimental support of automatic differentiation. Uh, and we also support blockade approximation, which, which allows us to simulate eight by eight uh, number of qubits uh, of the uh, Ripper atom array. So this uh, this has been uh, very helpful in our recent uh, results on um, using uh, the Ripper atom array to solve the maximum infant set problem, uh, which appears on science uh, just uh, uh, recently. Uh, and it's built on the uh, nice ecosystem on top of nice ecosystem of uh, differential equation, Julia GPU, and Yao. Um, so, um, in the end, uh, we also care about uh, uh, cloud servers, wrappers, and uh, real connection with the hardware. So, we currently have uh, a client for IBM Quantum Services. Uh, experimental implementation for the AWS Black Hat uh, client. Um, and in July, we're going to have a, a, a Black Hat schema that connects the uh, Rebrick machine from uh, QRA computing. Um, so uh, we also we also have been, in, been uh, working with uh, quite a few Summer of Code programs uh, in the open source community. Such as Google cool Summer of Code, Julia Summer of Code, and Open Source Commotion Plan, uh, Quantum Open Source Software Foundation. So, on the left hand are the past uh, projects we have been mentoring in the 
open source community. And some of them has been uh, become uh, a very popular package among the field. Uh, so in the last, uh, uh, thank you for your attention to our open source project. Uh, if you feel it's useful for you um, to see that start, and uh, uh, we list uh, um, this is a website, and we also we list uh, the uh, most important features of our software framework uh, in, on on the website. Um, uh, okay, uh, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Yes, thank you, Roger, for the presentation. Yeah, uh, personally, I, I, I actually don't have that ability to, you know, provide more questions from my sites. Uh, yeah, but uh, definitely it looks very exciting. Uh, and uh, it, it is uh, really happy to see uh, some open source ventures and frontier uh, tech <clears throat> projects like you guys uh, are, are, are emerging from the uh, Red platform. And uh, we would love to you know, provide uh, for further support uh, for projects like you guys. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Roger. And I think we can move to the next project today, uh, which is the Space ID. <clears throat> Hi, Denali. Hello everyone, I'm Dinani and I'm the Space ID software engineer. I'm not supposed to be presented here today because we have a BD manager who, who is supposed to present for, for our Space ID. And uh, uh, the process for me to present is that I, I'm the software engineer, I know the technology. And uh, the process is that I might not organize my world too, too well. So um, let's start. Uh, let me share my screen. So what is uh, what is Space ID? Space ID is actually very similar to ENS. It's a name services, but it's a cross chain name services, which is will be applied to many uh, uh, blockchains such as Ethereum or BSC. And uh, we will support different type of the uh, programming languages or uh, platforms, no matter it is written in Solidity or uh, in uh, uh, in Solana Rust language. So that no matter where which chain you are, you register name, and we will sure we will make sure that you only have one name registered uh, across chains. But it's actually not just a username. A uh, space ID can. Definitely serve as the username, but it can be applied to many other things, such as the identifier for your uh, for your NFT or for your Twitter handle, something like that. So we, we want to make sure that uh, no matter what resources you want to be, uh, you manage, you want to manage it, and you want to be shared with the uh, with the cross chain, and you will be able to register a space ID and use it in a very convenient way. Um, another feature is that we are secure and we have a high availability. Uh, the reason why is that there were so many resources managed on Space ID. We want to make sure that it will be safe and stable so that we have designed our own uh, chain to manage the data and to, uh, uh, to manage the data and to uh, share across, across chains, no matter where you uh, 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 register your name. So um, based on these two uh, three features, we have the implement uh, uh, demo uh, MVP version. So I can uh, present a video here. This, uh, this video will show a basic user journey for the space ID. So first thing is that you need to uh, connect your wallet and once your wallet is connected, you will search a name. And if this name is available and you can choose to register it, you can choose how long you want to uh, use this name. And then you will proceed with the uh, registration process. And this actually, uh, we, we actually retrofitted this, this code from the uh, ENS. 
So it basically is a two-step reg registration process. The reason why ENS do this is that uh, ET, uh, Ethereum is a very slow chain. So, um, and uh, Ethereum has a well-known problem of the MEB. So once you have like send out the transaction, which in includes your name in this transaction, it will be in the memory pool and it will be broadcast to all of the uh, uh, validators. And someone else is, will be able to send out a, another transaction to front run your name with a higher price. So that's the reason why Ethereum has this uh, two-step registration process. And the first step will take su such a long time. It takes about 60 seconds because the Ethereum blockchain has a slow block time and it has low TPS. We will talk about the optimization on this later on our space ID. And this is the second step of the registration process. <clears throat> so once you have done, done your, uh, the registration of the name, you can set up the uh, reverse record for, for this name. Um, because it, one address might be able to register many, many names, right? So you can choose whether use this most recently uh, registered name or other names to repre uh, represent as the primary domain name for this address. <clears throat> Yeah, then I think it is uh, successful. And you see, okay. So uh, let's stop here. And uh, I think everyone have uh, noticed that, that this uh, registration process is quite long and tedious. And we have make a bunch of the uh, uh, improvement based on this. And you can see that this is our test net. It is not released yet. And uh, our goal is to improve the user experience by accelerating the registration process and shorten the registration process uh, from two step into only one step. I can show you something about the uh, search experience. It's quite improved. Yeah, you can register this. We, we haven't finished this feature yet, but we have uh, actually uh, designed all of the features and uh, improvement based on ENS have two, uh, we have two improvements on uh, ENS. One is that we have accelerated, accelerated the uh, registration process to improve the user experience. The second thing is that um, uh, there is one problem with the ENS, uh, because um, once ENS is released to the main net, everybody can front run the name, right? And uh, to avoid those people who doesn't have the right to register uh, some popular names such as Binance.com or, or some uh, Ethereum.com, uh, something like that, we will have an auction process to make sure that those who are sending out, send out a higher price will be able to get a name or who, those who have the priority to register the name will be able to get the name. And we have a patent with a Galaxy, Project a Galaxy to uh, release and hand out a, a bunch of the NFTs for those people uh, who, uh, who has uh, actively engaged in our community. And then those people will be able to get our special edition of the NFTs and this NFTs will be served 
as the uh, eligibility for those people to uh, claim our uh, to claim or buy uh, our uh, name services uh, with a higher priority. So that's 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 it. So uh, to summarize, uh, Space ID has a better user experience comparing to uh, ENS, and it has much, much more richer user experience because we will heavily focus on the operations and make sure that uh, uh, we will satisfy the user requirements, the user needs, uh, as well as we will satisfy the decentralized feature of the blockchain. So that's our presentation. Thanks a lot. Got it, got it. Yeah, thank you very much, Denali. Uh, it, it actually presents very clearly about uh, what, you're, what you guys are trying to be right now. So uh, one question from me would be, uh, like how, what, what is like the revenue model, generating model for, for the whole protocol, or all the whole project? Yeah, our, our, our revenue model is quite uh, simple, actually. Every time when user tries to register a name, they will pay some registration fees to Space ID. And this registration fees is pretty much like a rental price. For instance, if you want to register for finance, uh, you pay like $50 a year, and more, maybe you, you paid it for five years. And after five years, you have to pay it again. So we have a very continuously uh, a continuous revenue model and very stable revenue model. That's what we have now. Uh, the second revenue model, we will uh, do it in the later. And that's, I think that is much more challenging is that because we have all of these resources and this name services and we collect all of this, this data and put it on our own chain, right? We, we, because we want to design a, a cross chain protocol that will have all this, all of this data resided in our own chain, and we will provide the APIs to the outside, uh, outside partners for them to use. So uh, these partners will use our own chain tokens to query and fetch this data, and to curate this data. And for those who run in the nodes, will um, will mining the our tokens. So that's a. Uh, that's another ecosystem, but I, I don't want to uh, focus the, too much at this moment because we don't have it now. We will uh, the first revenue model we will have is that the for is the uh, name registration uh, rental fees. Yeah, got it, got it. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, no more questions from me. And uh, thanks again. And we can move to the next project today, which is the Open Lock, and Kevin. Feel free to start Hello. Hey. Hello, this is Kevin. Okay. Then I will share my screen. Okay. Could you see that? Okay, um, and the word so plug uh, is a decentralized cross chain NFT marketplace has integrated multi chain link trust minimized services on BNB chain. These integrations will help support lock trading and uh, innovative model that combines crowding funding and a refuge. And building the most creative and liquid cross-chain NFT marketplace unlock the ultimate cross-chain liquidity of NFT. And whether it's a collectible stage of work or a set of GameFi and metaverse, you can conduct locally transactions here. And, and the first part and we found the following problems in NFT transactions. And the first, poor liquidity of NFTs and high risk for NFT holders, and inefficient trading model of most marketplace. The isolation of the different blockchains limits value portion of NFTs. Then 
We take the above problems as points and propose solutions. We aim to be the global and innovative marketplace where users can treat NFTs raising in various black blockchains fully decentralized and with the strongest security. And this is our features. The first, Lux trading. An uh, innovation trading mode of NFT marketplace, small money, big opportunities. And the second, cross-chain liquidity, enable HH NFTs trade on BNB chain and adopt laser zero cross-chain communication protocol. And the, the next decentralization, adopt decentralized technology, RKQ. And uh, um, the last uh, permissionless, um, non everyone can access a block without permission by sale. Participants only need a wallet address. That is our cross chain ability. By using the world's first lock trading mode, it, it lowers the barriers to participate, which is more friendly for users. And uh, users only need to pay for an extremely low cost on BNB chain, then can have the opportunity to win the valuable NFTs on HH and the BNB chain. Okay. Then uh, we use chain lake keepers to help us securely and uh, cost efficiently automate the crowdfunding process. Chain link price phase to help us uh, curate price NFTs and the VRF to help us fairly job winners. Um, with these integrations, Lux trading participants can Ha, uh, ha, will have stronger assurance that the Lux trading model is fair and uh, transparent. Okay, then we can see. Oh uh, yes, here a uh, Lux trading mode model. Uh, accept tokens. Um, BNB. BUSD, USDC, and uh, USDT. Each tax can select one kind of payment token. And the lucky group, a uh, Lux trading supposed team mode up to 10 people. Uh, if someone in the group is the winner, the group members can share the lucky dividend in equally. Uh, it greatly increases social form and the winning probability. Uh, participants can get luck rewards in different proportions. The platform will charge um, 2% to coffee. Okay, then we can see what locks. An um, open lock is a uh, innovative cross-chain NFT marketplace focused on bu building trading models and uh, uh, liquidity solutions to support the NFT ecosystem. And Lux Trading is the first solution available. Lux Trading crowdfunds NFT sales for um, artists and gives collectors the opportunity to win NFTs in a lucky draw. Um, for example, a sale list uh, uh, NFT at a price of 10 BNB and then divides into um, 1,000 tickets that users can purchase for 0 0.01 BNB each. Then, when all the tickets have been purchased, a single winning ticket will be randomly drawn, and the holders and the holder of that ticket will receive the NFT, while the sale receive proceeds from a ticket sales. And I I'll play a video later to demonstrate how it works. This is our technical suppose. Chain link, laser zero, graphic, and Merlis. Okay, then is our advantages. We we'll, we bring a new trading model and more innovation to NFT marketplace, and discover more imagination and uh, uh, liquidity solutions of NFTs and Web three for community. Okay, the detail here, protocol fee and uh, it built on BNB chain, powerful innovation, cross-chain ability. 
Okay, then the next part, it's our token. Our token is lock. The total supply is 1 billion. And then this is our token functions. And uh, and 50% 50, 50 of the net face on OpenLock will be distributed to lock stickers. And 20% of the net face on OpenLock go to a lock buy or burn. And hold lock to participate in the limit governance of open lock DAO and in the exclusive and VIP features to be developed. It. Okay, this is our roadmap. The testnet is already live and the mainnet will go live in June. The testnet, even it's on the way, please check on our Twitter for details. We would appreciate your suggestions and feedback. Okay. And this part is our team. Block is formed by a group of NFT crypto enthusiasts. As a team that is full of passion and creativity, we have complete products designers, technical researchers, and marketing members. And the last, last part is our marketing strategy and uh, it's social media influencers, press release, and uh, community events, and uh, educational programs. Okay, then I will show the uh, video. Please wait a moment. Okay, it's not clear. I will share the link. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Cool. Yeah, thank you very much, Kevin, for the wonderful presentation. Uh, I believe uh, it's definitely trying to solve one of the biggest pinpoint of the current NFT, current multi-chain NFT uh, marketplace uh, markets, uh, which is about the liquidity. Uh, so yeah, uh, very happy and uh, looking forward to see that. Uh, OpenLock is trying trying to uh, solve this problem. Yeah, thank you for the presentation. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, and I think we can move to the next project today, which is the, is also the last project project today for the presentation. So Elena from Mercify, feel free to start. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Um, let me share my screen. Uh, okay, and 
I would like to start from presentation uh, and tell you a little bit more what is Merge Finance. Uh, Merge Finance is cross-chain index protocol for investing in different types of assets represented by a single token. Uh, like we came up with the ideas like two years ago, but we think it was uh, too early for this project. Uh, but we think that now when DeFi started growing and there are more and more tools for DeFi, it's like the right time to do this project. The main idea is to empower the investing experience for users and simplify the unburdened process because now if user like newcomer want to start investing in uh, indexes like not indexes in crypto, they should do lots of start steps. First of all, select single assets, then do portfolio management, then provide liquidity if there's different stuff. And actually sometimes it's quite complicated even for people who are already in crypto because you need to provide liquidity, then stake LP token, etc. cetera, uh, do revenue withdrawal, do profit reinvesting and portfolio rebalancing. And what we're offering to our users is just uh, from user side, they will select index. And from uh, our side, Mertify will do all other steps for them. Our product have uh, several pro tools and features. First of all, like our first benefit that uh, our index can consist from different type of assets. It can be synthetic assets, government token, LP, world, NFT, etc. It all helps us to make uh, portfolio uh, more diversified. Uh, the second thing is that our index is cross-chain. We already have partnership with Symbiosis. It is a cross-chain swap, which means that our users will be able to buy uh, any index on any chain using any token they already have in their wallet. Uh, the third thing, it is built-in staking model. So how it actually works, there is two ways. First of all, we can, because we have like all types of assets, we can just buy LP tokens or interest bearing tokens on secondary market and include it uh, to the index. And the second way it is using whitelisting protocols like Aave, Compound, um, StakeDAO, etc. Uh, so we will send our underlying assets to this protocol, get in return interest bearing token or LP token. This LP token will be uh, locked on our smart contract to ensure 100% collateralization. And then we will earn like incentives from the platform and depends on what they're using. If it is DEX, we will also earn a trading fee. So that's how our users will be able to get additional 15% of IPR for their indexes. And the last one, it is smart balancing system. So most of our competitors do rebalancing um, manually once a month. At the end of the month, they just rebalance the assets. And like what we offer in it is rebalancing with every mint and burn. So here is a quick example. Um, <clears throat> index was balanced and had 30% of AVA, 70% of BNB. And after uh, like several days, um, price of BNB grew up and now index is disbalanced. And it is 25% uh, versus 75%. So when users came to the index protocol and uh, like in our competitor's way, they want to buy $100 of uh, index with $100, they will buy it in original proportion, which means uh, $25 of AVA and 75 of BNB. As a result, on the right pie chart, you can see that index is still disbalanced. And in our case, before buying underlying assets, we will check the current proportion of the index and obtain plugin assets first which means in this particular case, it's much easier to just buy our with $100, which makes index much more balanced uh, in the current time. And also we make uh, less transactions. So we save on gas fee and uh, it's uh, like an alpha because we are buying deep in assets first. Um, we already have several big players on the market. 
uh, our main difference from them that most of them stuck with one or two chains and we offer a cross-chain solution. Second thing that we have our own uh, development like smart balancing system. And the last thing that um, not many of the protocol integrating staking of underlying assets at the moment only in Zim do it, but they're not using uh, but protocols, they just uh, buying interest-bearing token from secondary market to include to the index. Uh, product screen, but I think it will be easier if I will show you on our test net. And the last thing it is application architecture. So how actually it work when user came uh, to our application and they want to buy index, they send BNB to the merge contract. After that, our rebalancing model check with Oracle how much of each underlying asset it should buy, send this information to the router. Then with, when all underlying assets are bought, uh, this underlying asset goes to the staking model, like this one, which we can stake. And other underlying assets goes back to the merge contract. After staking, all LP token and interest bearing token goes back to the smart contract as well. And at the moment when we ensure 100% of collateralization and we have all assets on the smart contract, um, we mint index token and send it to user wallet. And now I would like to show how it looks like from the user perspective. <clears throat> Uh, so here is uh, the main page. Uh, here you can see the charts. The chart is not really accurate because it is Binance Smart Chain testnet, so we can get real prices. Uh, here is all underlying assets, uh, which included to the index. So you can see uh, how much of each asset included, what is proportion, etc. And uh, like it's like statistic information, market cap, annual fee, etc. And uh, we improved the way of buying and selling index. So it's now similar to IMM swap, uh, the flow. And here, if user wants to buy index, there is uh, three ways. First, it is DEX swap. So if like when we will have a secondary market and if for uh, this particular index, uh, we have a secondary market, they can just buy it there uh, using like from our application. Uh, it will be like, if it is a Binance Smart Chain, it will be Pancake Swap. If it is Polygon or Unis or, or Ethereum, it will be Uniswap, etc. Second way, it is issuing with a single asset. It is when uh, we buy an index using one asset, USDT, BUSD. And the last way, it is if user has all underlying assets on the wallet, they can issue index using these underlying assets. And the same for selling. It can be DEX swap or redeeming with a single asset. So all underlying assets will be sold and swapped to the assets they choose, USDT, and USDT will be sent back to the user wallet. And the last, it is resuming via multiple assets. It's when user will get all underlying assets from this index. Okay, now let's check, for example, buying with DEX swap, preview order. Here's the information about price, gas fee network, confirm. Now we need to wait when the order will be proceed. Okay, I think maybe there is some issues on Binance Smart Chain testnet because I don't know, transaction, some transaction is still pending. It is today's transaction as well. But yeah, in history, you can see that transaction successfully proved. Um, yeah, so after the processing order, uh, user will have information that order is proceed and can see tokens on the wallet. 
Um, I think that's all from my side. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have any question, I would be happy to answer. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Elena, for the presentation. Yeah. Personally, I don't have uh, too many questions for the Mergeify because uh, I have I have already understand like before. And uh, yeah. So I'm kind of familiar thank with you. the with the products. Yeah. Thank you very much for the presentation. And then I think uh, we can end today's project demo sessions here. So also appreciate previous three projects uh, who did the presentation. You guys all did a great job. And hopefully you guys can all achieve a, a good result in, in this hackathon. Yeah, uh, appreciate your time and effort. And I hope hopefully you guys could all uh, building the superstar products in the future. Uh, and uh, hope you guys could all doing well. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank everyone. you.